This is an introduction to implicit front end and Outlook integration with Sugar CRM. Implicit front end allows Outlook users to do all their CRM work from within Outlook. And for that purpose, we've created a mirror image of Sugar inside Outlook. If I click accounts, I can view a list of my accounts, my leads, opportunities, cases, and all the other standard Sugar CRM modules like revenue line items, contracts, quotes, as well as custom modules that the administrator has created in Sugar and I can uh, view and work with them in Outlook. Going back to accounts, I can select and open an account. And as you can see, this is exactly the same information um, about this account uh, as I um, have in Sugar, except it's presented here inside Outlook, including all the related data. So the opportunities, the cases, the activities, these are Outlook meetings and tasks, history, um, which are past meetings and, and completed tasks, all my contacts, um, my received emails, sent emails, uh, documents. These are document, office documents and um, PDFs that have been associated with the account. And these are actual Outlook items, live, uh, live uh, items. For example, I can open an email, view it, and reply to it um, directly from within the account. Now, having all this information inside Outlook um, allows us to as an email is received from a, a known contact, the system recognizes the email address of the contact and presents all the information it has about the contact and the account and allows me to take immediate actions as I, want, as I receive the email. So for example, I can create a new opportunity and you can see that the, it's automatically associated with the account and a copy of the email is created um, and associated with the account as well. So I can see the email that uh, generated the opportunity. Similarly, I, I have my um, other elements, cases. I can schedule a meeting. Um, and once again, these are actual live Outlook items. So I can open the meeting. Um, you can see that this part of the form is the standard Outlook invite. And um, down below, we've extended the form to include the, the sugar specific information. Now, to archive an email, I have a number of options. Um, I can do it manually. So I can select a single or multiple emails, right click, and say archive email. The, the default selection, which is the most common one, is to simply archive it to the contact and the account. But the system also uh, tries to help me make the decision by making suggestions. So we're showing all the different records associated with the uh, contact and the account. And I can say, actually, this email is related to this opportunity or this case. Or I can just override this altogether and select a specific record to archive the email. And I can schedule a follow-up meeting or a task, um, which will generate an Outlook meeting or a task and synchronize them to Sugar. 
That's the manual method. Um, I also have a, an automatic rule-based method um, that I can set, and I'll show you. If I go to Options dialog under Email Archiving, you can see that I can set different rules for incoming and for outgoing. And I can select, uh, again, the simplest selection is to archive all messages um, to the contact and the, and the account. Um, or if I don't want to do that, I can say archive only emails from selected contacts or accounts, or do not do any automatic archiving of email. Now, to select the contacts and accounts um, for which it will be automatically archived, um, I can go into the contact folder, uh, sorry, contact form, and I have this checkbox here that says, when receiving or sending email from, from or to this contact, automatically make the association and automatically archive it. So this is at the contact level, and I can do this also at the account level um, by checking this box that says when I receive or send email from anybody at this domain, automatically archive the account. Now we refer to um, implicit front end as a two pronged integration solution. And what that means is not only I have full access to Sugar from within Outlook, but as I'm working with Sugar through a browser, I have full access to Outlook functionality. And let me show you what I mean by that. Well, first of all, we've created a very simple, very easy way to switch back and forth. So I click uh, Open in Sugar, and it automatically um, opens the record in, in the browser. And from as I interact with Sugar from the browser, um, I have this button that allows me to switch back and forth. So I can switch back to Outlook. Um, if the item has not been synchronized yet, it will synchronize the item and then open it in Outlook. Or I can take um, Outlook actions, Outlook related actions, such as schedule a meeting with this contact. And you'll see that what happens is a, a meeting invite opens up in Outlook. It pre-populates the contact that I selected in Sugar. And um, obviously the advantage of sending the meeting invite from Outlook is I have access to all of Outlook calendaring functionality, such as uh, finding out the availability of conference rooms, um, finding out availability of uh, participants in the meeting and um, all the related uh, function calendaring functionalities such as um, accept or reject meeting, suggest alternative times, um, all the uh, standard calendaring functionality in Outlook. Similarly, I can um, I can open an email in Sugar and reply to it uh, via Outlook, and many, many different um, options to access Outlook functionality from within Sugar. So this was a, an overview of only a subset of the functionality of this um, quite rich, yet very easy to use and very intuitive solution. As you can see, it combines the best of both worlds provides access to all of Sugar um, rich CRM functionality, yet it maintains the, the familiar and, and extremely popular Outlook's um, user experience.